significant news this week to talk about. There's an ongoing dispute over what happened during a May 4th raid in that country. The Taliban saying the U.S. is responsible for killing more than 100 civilians. The U.S. military is saying something very different. Here is what Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said about it two days after it happened, May 6th. I wish to express uh, you know, my personal regret and certainly the sympathy of our administration on the loss of civilian life uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, we deeply regret it. So we are wondering if the administration is blaming the military first. Now, there's an investigation underway, and the fog of war can be a very difficult thing to sort out, but we're trying to advance the story today with Brigadier General Anthony Taylor. He's the author of a book called Sudden Death, and he's my guest this morning. General, good morning to you. I, I know you've had a lot of contact with people on the ground in Afghanistan, and uh, as you understand the facts of what happened that day, lay them out for us, General. Good, good morning, Bill. Uh, exactly what happened is uh, this was in for our province. For our province is on the Iranian border, and it, the other uh, it borders the heavy uh, poppy growing region. And so there's a significant Taliban presence uh, in this area. Uh, we, the coalition forces, have been pressuring the Taliban in this area. What the Taliban did is took some hostages, they beheaded them, they lured the police into a baited ambush. The Afghan National Police got decisively engaged, which then brought in the Afghan National Army. They got decisively engaged. We provide, coalition forces provide what's called in extremist support, and that includes air power, very accurate air power. And so what happened is combat ensued, and the air power uh, destroyed portions of the Taliban who then fled. But what happened on the ground there is that the Taliban uh, threw some hand grenades inside some buildings where they had hurt its uh, civilians. And this is the investigation is not complete yet, but the initial indications are this is precisely what happened. And so, so the this way is a you, standard the Taliban. You, right, the way you lay it out, just so our viewers understand this, according to your accounts, this was an Afghan operation that only involved the Afghans, Taliban on one side, the Afghan army on the other. They later called in for U.S. support from the air above. How do you know that the Taliban laid out grenades and beheaded people? What's the evidence on that, sir? Yeah, we, what uh, co coalition forces have a standard battle drill. Any time that there's an allegation of civilian casualties, there's a flyaway team that consists of Afghan, uh, FBI equivalent, and Afghan police forces, and U.S. and coalition military forces. And those forces go to the scene and conduct essentially a forensic investigation. And what is uh, a, appears to be the facts is that these uh, uh, Taliban enemy on the ground uh, killed many of the civilians that are being reported well, as Well, if that's the case, and you were about to say that the Taliban made this announcement, it's my understanding that within an hour, even 30 minutes, they called a press conference or put out a statement accusing the U.S. military. Now, if, if what you're saying is true, why would the Secretary of State, why would the administration blame the military first before we get all the information on this investigation? Well, I didn't interpret their uh, statements as blame. Uh, you know, uh, America is a very empathetic people. And uh, first and foremost, the thing that uh, dis uh, distinguishes us from our enemy is, in fact, that we value human life. The Taliban and al-Qaeda absolutely do not value human life. And so I, I have sat across from Afghan citizens who have lost loved ones in battle before and expressed my regrets. Nobody regrets the loss of civilian life on the battlefield, no matter who caused it, more than the American soldier or Marine on the ground. So it is a very natural uh, process for the loss of civilian life. Un understood. Now, the investigation continues. We want to know in the end what it concludes, and uh, when it does, we'll bring it back on the air, okay? Brigadier General Anthony Tatum, I guess now, uh, author of the book, Sudden Threat. Sir, thank you. Thank you, Bill. All right. Megan. Well